You clicked on this video for one reason. You want to find out why crabs will kill Dead. Minecraft. Well, if that is what you want, then I shall give you that knowledge. But first, I must ask a simple question. Do you actually need extra block reach? If you said yes, remember it is just extra block placement reach, not block break reach. Also, remember that by saying yes, you will lose your totem of undying because the claw must go in your offhand in order to use it. Or, maybe even worse, you'll have to eat a claw every 8 or so minutes to activate the buff. Now, for the people that said yes before, do you actually need it? Well, my name is Plan Game V58, and I'm here to tell you that you need to think before you vote, and that together we can save our beloved game that we call Minecraft. At first glance, the 2023 mob vote appears to be filled with only positive additions to Minecraft. A crab, armadillo, and a penguin, each with their own additional boosts. Block placement reach, dog armor, and faster boats, respectively. Then, at a second glance, you may notice a little bit more. I mean, aren't boats already super fast when you put them on ice? And when do you ever actually use your dogs in PvP? And after thinking about that, you'll immediately think, Wow, these crabs must be a gift from God. Well, this video is just here to tell you that crabs are not a miracle, and in fact, I'm here to say that you will never use these crabs, and yes, I'm saying never very, very confidently. I'm also here to suggest the thought that you will most likely almost 100% use the armadillos and penguins for their actual use. Let's start off with the positives. Penguins will be the first exclusive mob for the Stony Shores biome, and will also allow you to travel even faster on boats, which means for long-term worlds that are massive and you have builds separate from each other, you can get to one place from another faster, which is something that everybody wants, no matter what. And if you're saying to yourself, I love traveling slow, then you are just lying or are delusional. And yes, if you think, well, what if I want to look at the terrain? I'm sorry to tell you this, but most everyone that even uses boats uses them on ice highways. So one, you've seen that path before, and two, you're trying to get somewhere very fast. Now, what if you're saying, well, plant, we don't know if the penguins will actually be usable for ice highways. And to that I have to say, well, yes, they may not be, that will just make boats better still, because you will still be able to travel across the ocean faster, which is all obviously always a bonus. Next, let's roll on over to the armadillo, which will drop scoots that can craft armor for your dog, which I think is really cool. Also, it spawns in the savannah, which means another reason to go there in the first place. I mean, what do the savannas even have right now? Acacia wood? Llamas? I guess, acacia villages? That's really it, and I know you're going to say, well, savannas don't really look that good, so I don't want to really stay there for that long anyways. Well, to that I say that by adding an armadillo, you will allow Mojang to think about the savanna biome, which will in turn make them think of updating it more. Also, I do understand why you would say, I don't use my dogs for PvP, so why would I even need armor for them? Well, to say the least, with armor you would be able to actually use them in PvP because they wouldn't die as fast. And even if you're a solo player, you'll still reap the benefits of wolf armor because this will allow you to bring a more environmental feeling for your builds. Just think of how cool it would be to have a castle build with armored wolves guarding it. Now, I know you may say, well, I don't build castles, nor do I even tame dogs in the first place. And to answer the first point, I must say, you'll still be able to use these dogs as an addition for your builds. And second, armor will give you a reason to actually go out and tame these dogs, since they won't die as fast. And since they won't die as fast, people will actually bring them with them. Sometimes, I mean, dogs are still just NPCs, so they won't actually be as helpful as real people. And yes, cats are still helpful because... They scare away creepers, and dogs won't be able to do that, unless the armor gives them a boost that'll allow them to scare away zombies or skeletons, I don't know. This is all just speculation, right? But still, dogs will actually have a reason to tame them for gameplay. And finally, we come to the crab, a mob that spawns in the mangrove swamp, which is a biome that was added in 1.19, so it's still very new. 
It is also a mob that will drop its claw, which will increase block placement reach. Now, how lazy are you? Back in my day, we just placed dirt when we needed to have some extra block reach. Now, people can't even do that. And don't even get me started on the fact that since we don't know how you will get this boost, it will most likely just make it to where you can't use your totem, which is for all the hardcore players that love building such elaborate builds, means that if you fall to your death, you're dead your world's gone, right? And I know that doesn't matter to most hardcore players since you can just open up to land and go back to before you died. It does matter to hardcore players that actually don't cheat, and when hardcore is eventually added to bedrock, you won't be able to just cheat back your life. So yeah, hardcore players, this crap won't benefit you at all. And don't even get me started on the fact that some people are calling scaffolding a late game item. I'm going to tell you what it requires to craft scaffolding. Bamboo and string. How is that a late game item? Please, just tell me, right? And even if you're too lazy to go to a jungle, or maybe you don't have a jungle near you, just use dirt. Dirt was scaffolding before scaffolding was even introduced, right? And don't even get me started on who's actually going to benefit from this crab claw. I mean, you may think it's builders. But since most builders build in creative mode, you can just fly in creative mode, so you don't even need extra reach. It's useless, right? And for the builders that build in survival mode, I just have to say, still, you can use scaffolding because scaffolding's not a late game block. Also, remember the fact that you're losing your totem. And even if you don't lose your totem, you're still losing time since you would most likely have to eat the claw every 8 or so minutes to actually keep the buff. And if you think that Mojang wouldn't do this, consider this. Crab claws are real food and are very popular in real life. Also, that remember that crabs, while yes, some people are allergic to them, most people aren't. Also, remember that crabs are relatively rare to just find at normal restaurants, so most kids won't go looking for claws to eat. And I know that may sound obvious, but some people still think that Mojang wouldn't make the claws edible because I, I, I don't know why they wouldn't make the claws edible. In any reason, they, they could be edible. I just want you to remember that. And I know a big thing is that Mojang likes to think about when they add new mobs to their game is they don't want people to go around and harming animals, right? Well, the crab drops its claw, and crabs need their claws to eat, because that's how they crush food, so kids will then learn that crabs don't need their claws, and, you know, I'm just saying Mojang kind of took the L on that one. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry for getting a little bit angry right there, but as I said at the beginning, I do actually believe that the crab could harm Minecraft. Or worse, it will bring more hate to the mob vote, because as soon as the crab is added, people will realize they made a mistake and immediately want something else, which has happened for every single mob vote in the past. But even if you are still blinded by the magical thoughts that the crab will provide an immense benefit to you, just remember that you're not smart. <laughs> Why did I write that in the script? <laughs> and while, and while I, I will admit that all three of these mobs have a downside, the crab is just the worst out of these three. Also, I don't want to go here, but the crab doesn't even really look that cool. Like, why are they blue and orange? I don't, like, I feel like they should be orange. Just plain orange. And also remember that cr these crabs aren't going to dance, most likely. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But again, sorry I ruined all of your dreams of what the crab could be, but keep in mind that I don't want this mob vote to be another flop like almost every other year that there has been a mob vote. Now this last point may seem a little bit selfish, but I'm just saying for people like me who oftentimes build far away from their main compound, penguins would be very helpful. And for someone who thinks that Minecraft pets should always get more function, I also think that the armadillo is fairly helpful. And if maybe you thought that this video was made by someone who doesn't like building, I'm sorry to tell you, but I do, and I've always loved to build. So if anyone, and this goes for all builders most likely, we could all tell you that 
we don't really need block reach. Do you think anything I said in this video made any sense? Want to see more content on this channel? Probably not after this video, but even if you don't, just subscribe since I'm recording at 420 subs, which is unholy. So let's get it up. Love you. Mwah.